Hi guys, I have a ton of new products to show you today from Rong Rong's new adventure collection. It's the biggest collection Rong Rong has launched this year. So the adventure collection is all about being adventurous in travel or in your daily life. It's about booking a trip to a new destination or trying an outfit that you never thought you would possibly put on. It's just about adventure in general. I'm going to put all the information in the description box below, but there will be a private launch party on November 16th from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. Central Time where there's going to be freebies and gift bags and stuff like that. In the description box, I'm going to put a link to join the wait list. And then the public launch for all these products will be on November 17th at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to use code BUMBLE10 to get 10% off anything at Wrong Wrong. That helps me out a great deal and it helps you out. So thank you for that. That. Now let's take a look at this stuff. Disclaimer, I filmed this part after I did the whole flip through, so we're going to go to another scene where the products are gonna look different. Ready, go. This is a huge, amazing haul, so let's take a look at everything one at a time. Let's start with this little pack of Ultimate Die Cut stickers. There's 30 stickers in here, so let's look at them individually. I really like die cut stickers. I like keeping them in like a little container. It just is so nice to flip through them once in a while and see everything I have, you know? I don't know, I just really like them. And these are fashion related, obviously, because it's wrong, wrong, but I'm just gonna put some of these out. Ooh, they are fashionable. Whoa, that's like Ursula, but not, you know what I mean? And that's like um, Hocus Pocus, but not <gasps> Cruella. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so cute. We've got a mermaid and that's like Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh my gosh, lots of characters here. Look at them all in their glory. They're so pretty. I wonder if they're all friends. I mean, that would be weird, but not unheard of, right? There they are, 30 in all. I think they'd be really fun to just make super cool pages surrounding that character. A Princess Leia page, I mean, why not? You know what I mean? Ah, oh, I love these. Okay, let's take a look at what kind of paper these are on. I think they're clear stickers, yeah. So they are clear stickers, so they're gonna really pop on your page. They're very colorful and fun. Let's put those aside and take a look at the next product. So we have this cute little Wanderlust postcard book. That is so fun. Now these are actual postcards. You can use them in the mail, but you can also use them in your planner or your journal or your bullet journal or whatever. Look, a sloth, I'm not naming it. Um, but it's Pete. <laughs> I'm not naming all the animals. I'm not. I know there might be a lot of animals. I'm not naming them all. But Pete is hanging out. And she's in the jungle. Um, so these are thick. They're like really thick postcards. Um, they feel good. They're cardstock. And, but you can cut them out and put them in your planner. You could cut out individual things. You could put these as like a postcard spread. You know what I mean? Or you can use them as actual postcards. Look at these. We have, oh, my printer's going off. We have girls all over the world traveling everywhere. They're having fun. It's making me want to travel right now. There's gold foil on this one. Those are really cute. I like those a lot. Let's look at the covers that Rong Rong sent me. So she sent me a bunch of new planner covers to check out. So let's look at them one at a time. Some of them actually look like the covers of her sticker books, which is so cool. I think this one's a sticker book, I'm not sure. So this one says, write, create, inspire, and there's gold foil polka dots on there. Actually, they're no, I lied, they're not gold foil. This create is gold foil, but these are just gold. Yeah, and then inside it looks like this. Very glam, very glam. So if you're a glam girl, this one's for you. Oh, and by the way, these are meant to fit like a classic happy planner. Let me show you. First, I'll show you the back though. That's what the back looks like. Um, so you can pop these onto your classic happy planner. 
and change your covers up whenever you want. I love having extra covers just because I get super bored with the same thing all the time. And I don't know if you're like me, but you know what I mean? Um, these covers feel very sturdy. They're like, dare I say, even a little thicker than the Happy Planner covers. They feel real good. So don't worry about them being flimsy or anything. Sorry if that hurts your ears, but they're not flimsy at all. Okay, let's check out the other ones that she sent me. So this one is definitely a sticker book, self-care. There's purple foil on here. Self-care comes first. We have a girl, she's having a glass of wine. I don't know, wine and like she just got a shower. She has her hair up, she's chilling. Maybe she's gonna do a manicure, I don't know. But there's these beautiful purple flowers in here. And then there is the back. That's a very soothing cover. So if you have maybe a self-care planner or one that is a wellness type planner, this one might be fun for you to put on there. This is a sticker book as well, Teach, Love, Inspire. This is great for the teachers in your life. Teacher of the year, teaching is my jam. Yeah, and that's like rose gold foil there. And then inside there's teachery things or student type things, little clips and stuff, a Sharpie. And then there is the back. This is also a sticker book. They probably all are sticker books and maybe I don't have them all, but this one's definitely one. Wait, let me show you the sticker books just so I can show you like the differences. So this one kind of goes with this sticker book, right? It's the same type of theme, mom life. And this is, I guess, rose gold foil here. Mom life is the best life. Mama, she's got her coffee and these really pretty kind of retro flowers around the outside. And then look in here. She has all her mom stuff, you know, her planner, her phone, her sneakers or tennis shoes. If you're one of those people, um, her bag and, you know, uh, I almost said phone again, her keys and stuff on a little poof. Fun, fun, fun. And here's those pretty flowers on the back cover. Next up, we're going to go with this one classy and fabulous and this one is from that sticker book um it wasn't a sticker book it was a sticker pack this one breakfast at tiffany's this is so cute there's these like little polka dots on it that are like a light blue foil you know what i mean so pretty we have a little cat here mimi <laughs> and uh stripes and like fun glam type stuff in here. And then we also have the, look at that chandelier on the back. That's so fun. This is really pretty. So if you're like real glam, you know, you might be into this cover. Actually, I'm not real glam, but I like that cover. Okay, here's one that says, every day is a fashion show and the world is the runway. We've got a cast of characters on there. Look at all of them. Some of them are nasty and some are really sweet. I don't know. Like this one, I don't trust her. I do not trust her or her hat, not gonna lie. She looks really nice, but super sad, you know, she's nice. Then we have this woman down here, she looks shifty. She's up to no good, I don't know what's happening there, but purse is inside, or bags, I guess you could call them if you're a bag collector. I am not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm just like very basic, my bags, but I do like bags, I just don't buy them a lot. Okay, and this is the back. We've got that same cast of characters. Ooh, that one. She looks like she's planning some sort of scheme. I don't know. We have one more cover to show you here. Imperfection is beauty. We have a Marilyn Monroe type um, character here. And this is gold foil. We have little curly cues in the corner. This is cute. And then lots of Again, pretty glam, but wrong wrong can be pretty glam at times. Not always, I will say, but you know, a lot of her stuff is sort of fashion-y, right? Cause that's her, her shtick. But we have lipstick here. I love the little pop of pink lipstick within all the green and black. And then here's the back cover. So if you like covers, these are really fun. These are really, really fun. Okay, next up, let's take a look at this calendar. I'm really excited about this one because my Happy Planner calendar is going to end at the end of the year and I don't have another calendar and I think that this is perfect because it's small enough it's going to fit in my tiny little office I have now. It's really cute. It's very travel oriented as you can see and let's go ahead and take a look. It's not all going to fit on my screen. 
So first I'm gonna show you what the months look like. The boxes are pretty skinny. I mean, they're enough to write in. They're not like too small um, and they're tall, but each month you're gonna have a different color for the lines, you know? But I just wanted to show you those and then I'm just gonna show you the illustrations on each month. So look at this, leave a message. She's on vacation. She's like, no, not gonna answer my phone, not gonna answer my email or my text. Just leave a message and I'll get back to you in like three months after my big vacation's over. That's where she's going, all those places. Now we have this very fancy girl. I love the background, look at that. With the polka dots and stuff, that's really cool. Look at the, her fancy green dress. She's so pretty. I love the pearls, really cute. Okay, so. Someone is in Egypt and she's riding on a camel. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of afraid of camels. I don't think I'd ride on one, but she doesn't have any problem with it. There's a Sphinx. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Then we have April. To travel is to live. This girl in April looks like she's having just a fun time in the spring, traveling around the world. I don't know where she is. It almost looks like San Francisco, but I doubt it. It's probably in Europe somewhere, but yeah, really, really cute there. Next we have May. Obviously we're in, I guess, Santorini or something like that in Greece. And um, this is so pretty. This is who I wanna be, where I wanna go. This is my ideal life. So thanks Wrong Wrong for the inspiration. Now I can manifest her. <laughs> I think I'm too old to be manifesting her, but hey, you never know, you never know. All right, so this is the jungle girl again. There is, wait, what was his, oh no, I forgot already, what was his name? What was his name? Um, see, I named them and immediately goes out of my head, immediately. Oh wait, I didn't see the bird before. That's um, Mac, the bird's Mac, anyway. I love the colors in this one. She's just in the jungle. She's like, I don't care about the wild animals, the bugs, humidity. I'm just gonna do my thing. This would not be me in the jungle. I would be a sweaty mess and my hair would be like greasy and I would not be happy at all. I'm making it about me again. Sorry, wrong, wrong. I always do this. You would see me scared and miserable, but she, she's cool, calm and collected in the jungle. So I guess she lives there. This one, She's on the beach and obviously this is where I wanna be as well. Come on, who wouldn't follow that dream, everyone? Go places where you can get drinks like this. Um, maybe Hawaii, that might be where she is. That's my dream vacation. Are you listening, Mike? Because I really wanna go there. Next up, August, the world is yours to explore. You guys, I was here. This must be Positano in Italy and I was there, yes. I didn't look like that, I didn't have that outfit, but I was there and um, it was a really beautiful place. Of course, I was on this romantic vacation with my mom, yeah. <laughs> so, But we had a lot of fun. So anyway, that's a beautiful area. September, my birthday month, we are in Paris and I was there as well. Those are the only two places in Europe I've ever gone to, but beautiful places. I definitely had the bread, I don't know about the flowers, Definitely had the wine, didn't have it in a basket, but I did see some nice sunsets in Paris and I visited the Eiffel Tower. So that could be me, I mean, theoretically. Ooh, safari girl. I'm not naming these guys, but I would not recommend petting wild animals like that. That's not recommended. Just saying, not recommended. Okay, we're in London now, I guess, and uh, dream big in London. There's Big Ben. I've never been to London. I'd like to go. I like her coat. It's very chic. So yeah, November. November in London. Whoa, December. New York City. These girls are really fancy. And this one's standing right on the tippy top of that building. What's up with that? Wrong, wrong. She can't possibly stand on that. But obviously it's art. It's not realistic because there's a big Christmas ball there too. Fun fact, I always wanted to go to New York City to Times Square for New Year's Eve until about 10 years ago. And then I said, what on earth am I thinking? I never want to be there on New Year's Eve ever. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> if you've been there on New Year's Eve, let me know if it was a nightmare because all I could see is crowds and crowds of people and me in the middle and no bathroom and like freezing my butt off. No, thank you. That is not something I want to do. That's a really cute calendar though. And um, I can't wait to hang this up for 2023. 
Okay, let's check out this paper pad. We have 15 sheets of eight and a half by 11 inch paper, scrapbook paper for your planners or for whatever. Okay, we start off with a bang with this lipstick paper. How cute is this? There's foil on these little lipsticks. So you can cut this up, you can use it whole, or you can rip it up, or you can cut out the little individual lipsticks. Yeah, that's really fun. More glam for you here. If you like makeup, this is your page. We have blush and mascara and all the things. I love the color palette in this one. We have a bunch of stuff on this page. I love scrapbook paper pages like this because you can cut them up and use them. You know, this could be like a whole planner page and then maybe put some boxes around and you're done because it's so decorative. Put on your lipstick and hustle. That's in foil and it you can feel it. It's like raised a little bit. I really like having these little things you can cut out. Friday. The lipsticks look like fries. That's pretty cool. I always appreciate some patterned paper as we know and this one is like just these little black dots. They almost look like leopard print but not, you know. I like that. And it's going to go with this. Oh wait, we have a pattern forming. I didn't realize that. Okay, so so you've got the lipstick page and then it goes in and there's lipstick up here and then it relates to the lipstick. I see. So each one is going to be relating to the patterned page. That's pretty cool. So this is gold foil. I don't know if you can see that, but all you have is now make yourself proud. This is like a black and gold sort of glam theme. You can write your plans here, a little list for you. We have heels, lots and lots of heels. Again, I'm not someone who wear, wears heels and I never will, but, oh wait, this is different. She's fooling me. There's two pages here of the patterns and then we go into this page. So here's just a bunch of girls in cheetah print, leopard print, whatever that is. And then we go into this one. Let's get wild. I love all these patterns. I think that's so fun. And I love the color palette here. It's very neutral with little pops of color, really cute. And then here's your cheetah print or your leopard print or whatever print. I love having this because I make a lot of spreads that incorporate the prints like this. So I'll have fun with that one. Then we're into plants. There's a cat. There's a cat climbing up on there. You can always cut these out and use them individually if you want to. This is like the Plant Lady sticker pack from Wrong Wrong. Some of these designs are in there and you can use this in addition to that. You know what I mean? You can incorporate those stickers using this if you have that sticker pack. Really cute. Okay, so a lot of these are sticker packs. Wait, are all of these sticker packs? I don't know. Wrong Wrong, what are you doing to me? So this is related to the Enchante sticker pack. And I really love this. This is such a really cute sticker pack. I love this one. I've used a bunch of stickers in here already, obviously, but I love this one. I mean, I like the little line art illustrations and you get a lot in that pack, but now you can match the stickers to your scrapbook paper, which is so fun. I can't wait to use these because I definitely will be doing another spread with that Enchante sticker pack. And this is really pretty. I really like that a lot. And there is gold foil on this page. All right, so now it looks like, wait, this looks like the inside cover of that mom cover with all that mom stuff. And then this is the inside of one of the other ones. I forget which one, but those are really fun. I like that. So really cool scrapbook paper. All right, I always save the sticker books for last. And ooh, this is like the calendar. Ooh, I can't wait to see this. But we have two sticker books and one is a collaboration with Minji Kang. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I guess she's the one who drew these. I knew they looked different from regular wrong, wrong illustrations. So let's take a look at both of these sticker books in detail. I'm gonna look at this one first. It's called Big Fashion Sticker Book. Okay, so. The first page, fashion is my passion. Shopping, keep your heels, head, and standards high. We have some functional stickers here. These girls are cool, I like them. Holy chic, more is more and less is a bore. She's drinking a cute little drink. She has the pretty sunglasses on, look. That's fun. We have a lot of flags here for you. 
Why fit in when you were born to stand out? That's what I always say. Not really, but I should. Always dress like it's the best day of your life. That's why I'm in sweats like every day. These are really fun. I like the colors in here. Life is a party, dress like it. Life is short, buy the bag. <laughs> Fashion is my passion. These girls are really cool. They're very artsy. You have circle stickers here, some rounded boxes, and then the colors are really fun. I really love these colors together. We have some circle functional stickers and then a bunch of little strip stickers. Cheers to the weekend, hello weekend, more flags here. So a lot of functional in here so far, which is good. I love these little boxes. I use them all the time for various things. Then we here we have some strip stickers. Oh, this is a fun one. So these are on clear. You see, um, I really like the background of that. That's really fun. It almost reminds me of paper dolls. If you're as old as I am, you may remember paper dolls, but if you're not, you may not. But anyway, we used to dress up girls in paper and we would put outfits on them. They were super fun. I don't think little girls now play with paper dolls, <laughs> but um, look, isn't that cute? I love that. Hopeless Romantic. Is that a sticker too? I mean, the whole thing's a sticker, but this isn't a cutout sticker. You can cut it out and use it though, for sure. Ooh, this is a fun page too. Same deal. It's on clear sticker paper. And I like that the background is colored, but the stickers have the white around it because I don't necessarily really love the stickers that have the colored background as much as I love the white background. So I like that it's on the color but it's not, you know, on the sticker. You can always use this background to cut out different stuff. And look, outfit of the day. Yes, I knew what that meant. Can you believe it? These girls are cool. It really is like paper dolls. I wish I had like a big girl though that I could dress, but maybe there's one in the back, I doubt it. So we have a lot of bags here. Let me see, I'm gonna guess. All right, wait, you have to guess which one's my favorite. You know, I like to play games here. Okay, wait, I have to look at them now. You guess which one is my favorite and pick your own favorite too. Okay, you ready? That's my favorite. I love pink. I really love pink. I love light pink bags for sure. My bag right now is pink. The new neon, whoa. Look at these stripes around it. This is cool. She's like an 80s girl. Those are the colors I wore in the 80s. And then we have this one, the black background and like these clothes are really cool they're they're like sketched do you see that if you like clothing styles and if you're into fashion and stuff this book is really cool i like it a lot Ooh, these girls are chic look at their boots and a bunch of smaller ones here for you on the pink background Here's that cast of characters again. Actually, they're a little bit different. These all look pretty nice. There's not too many shifty girls here. I mean, if I'm being honest, wait, who do I trust the most and who do I trust the least? Let's see. If you hear licking, it's Bumble in the background. She's licking and it's kind of a gross sound. So if you hear it, I'm sorry. I trust this one the least. I don't know. There's something about her. She looks very like a robot or fake or like just zoned out or like she's in a trance. So something's wrong here. The one I trust the most is either this girl or this girl. I think they both are pretty trustworthy. They both look like they're nice, you know? <laughs> oh, whoa, look at the hair here. That's crazy, I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, I wish I had that much hair that I could make it as big as that, but alas, my hair it would not even come close, not even close, but that is some high fashion hair. Sweet Orchard Farm. They're so cute. Look at them. They're having fun on the farm. This sticker book is so cool. It's much cooler than I thought it was going to be. Whoa, these ones, they are cool. I love their outfits. 
I would never wear any of these outfits, but aren't they cool? Bumble, this isn't about you. Ooh, look at these. She looks like a mad housewife from like the 50s or something. I don't know. If I had to choose one of these that I was most like, I hate to say it, <laughs> but it's probably this one. <laughs> Second place is that one. <laughs> Bumble, like I said, this is not about you. We're talking about these really cool girls. We have a bunch of makeup here, some that I don't even use. I'm a very basic makeup girl. Again, making this all about me, sorry. We have some plants here, and some plant girls. She's like, come see all the plants in my lovely home. And you're like, okay. Um, and then she's gonna show you all of her plants and talk you into getting plants of your own because she's a true, true plant lady. Okay, so we have some little quotes here. Behind every successful woman is this fabulous bag. Life is a party, dress like it. Fashion is my passion. Confidence is the best outfit. That is true. I am limited edition. Shopping is my cardio. That's a really cool sticker book. I like it a lot. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Hopefully Bumble will let us do it because now she's squeaking her ball and I'm sorry about that. Ugh, ugh, Bumble, ugh. All right, so here's the Wanderlust sticker book and um, I'm really looking forward to this one because I love to travel and I love travel stickers even when I'm at home. Okay, so first page is the girls in the jungle, Wanderlust. We have a giraffe sticker here, that's cool. I'm not naming these animals, you guys, there's too many but we have a bunch of boxes here. There's that camel again. <laughs> There's that camel again. So we have some functional stickers here that go with the themes. Dream big. Bumble, we're not playing. We are not. We are not playing, sorry to say. Okay, travel plans. And then here we are in Italy again. It's time to get away. When in Rome. Fun illustrations here. Travel is my therapy. There's some beach girls there. Aloha. I knew it was Hawaii. And London. Then we have, look at these foods here. Look, a doggy. And a, and a croissant. My kids and I make fun of my mom because she calls them croissants. And, and, and I'm like, do you want a croissant? And she's like, sure, I'll take a croissant. And my kids think that's so hilarious. Do you call them croissants or croissants? Adventure awaits, make your own path. To travel is to live, follow that dream. Bumble's like, mom, you've been filming way too long. I've had enough of this. The journey is the des destination. Yeah, the journey is the destination. Date, place, details. We have a little London bus there. This is a fun and bright sticker palette. Sticker palette, really, Mary Ellen? This is a fun and bright color palette. We have some strip stickers here. Always, always needed, at least in my planner. And those were all on paper. These are gonna be on clear, I guess, from, from now on, at least for a little bit here. And a bunch of fashion girls here in all their travel outfits. Yep, they're all traveling everywhere and now i want to travel so bad thanks wrong wrong you just cost me like five thousand dollars <laughs> to travel is to live though adventure awaits skiing that is one thing i will not do i had a bad experience skiing back when i was 13. we're not going to talk about that um so just all these individual travel stickers. This is really fun. Oh, I was there too, the Coliseum. Yeah, I'm glad I got to Europe because I didn't get to Europe until I was 50, believe it or not. No, I was even older. I think I was 52 when I went to Europe, 51 or 52. To travel is to live, adventure awaits. Is that the same page as before? Didn't I see that already? Am I going crazy? It is the same page. <laughs> I knew I saw that. Look, two of the same page. Bonus, bonus. The journey is part of the experience. I agree with that, except in the airplane because I do not like the airplane, especially not for long flights. 
I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. Not all who wander are lost. The little details in these stickers are so cute, look. I know it's hard to see when I do these flip throughs. I try to give you close ups when I can, but it would take forever. Sunsets are better in Santorini. I wouldn't know, wrong, wrong. I really hope to know someday, though. Bumble's had enough. Follow that dream. I never met an island I didn't like. Me neither. Some palm trees, animals. Look at the monkey. Aw, he's cute. Bumble, that's enough. Come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, hello, everyone. Here she is. Hello. All right. She's got her ball. You see her ball? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. You can sit on my lap for a second. Don't throw the ball. nasty ball. Don't throw the nasty ball on the desk. Yuck. The world is yours. I said don't throw the nasty ball on the desk. You're embarrassing me, Bumble. You're embarrassing me. Here, you can have it. Every day is a new adventure. The world is yours to explore. I wish I could remember the name of the sloth and I can't. As soon as, oh, Bumble. As soon as I go back and watch it, I'll be like, yeah, that was his name. Was his name Sam or something? Probably not. So this page is cute. We have a bunch of little Polaroids and cameras and these little illustrations. <laughs> Take a look. Isn't that fun? Look, there's little cell phones and hands. Some people are creeped out by like hands that just are chopped off. I like them because you can put them on the side of a box and they're fun. It's time to get away, venture awaits. And then we have some quotes. If you never go, you'll never know. True, the world is yours to explore. Catch flights, not feelings. <laughs> Jeez, never stop exploring, follow that dream. And then we have a little planner here, a little bullet journal or something. The world is yours to explore. Um, some little AirPods. That's cute. So there you go. Those sticker books are adorable. I love them. I love all the products today. Thank you, Wrong Wrong, for sending me all these products from your new release. These are so fun. Don't forget all the information and the links and everything will be in the description box. And don't forget to use code Bumble 10, you can get 10% off. Let me know if you're planning to purchase anything and which one was your favorite that I flipped through. All right, I think you've heard enough from me and Bumble today, and it's time for our W-A-L-K. Do you know what that spells, Bumble? I don't think she knows yet, but it's time for that, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.